awesome God. He reigns forever and ever. My God is an awesome God. He reigns forever. You say, My God is an awesome God. He reigns forever and ever. My God is an awesome God. He reigns forever and ever. My God is an awesome God. He reigns.
mighty God. simple song. Worship today is about either what God is going to do for you or what He has done. So everyone can give hallelujah, either in advance or looking back. Don't forget, we're all together in this. My hallelujah belongs to you. Everyone can give hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. Let it go. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. Cause you deserve.
Father Lord, we thank you. Oh Lord, we bless you this morning as a church. We thank you, Father, from the depth of our hearts. We say thank you for the wonderful things that you've done. We say thank you. We thank you for the love that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for the breaking of another day. We thank you that we are well. We thank you that we are alive. We even thank you for those challenges. And we thank you for the hope that we have 
that tomorrow will be better. But our Lord, we bless you. Oh Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we worship. You may be seated. While we're in the attitude of worship, when we were praying this morning, the Lord said a number of things to us, which is really for the church. I will invite Brother Digi just to tell us what the Lord said to us as a church. Good morning, church. The intercessors were waiting before the Lord, praying this morning before the service, and the Lord spoke to us. There were words for the church, declaration for everyone. The Lord said in a local language, itusile. Itusile means a release. A release. What is it that you abound with? For us as a church, there is a release. A release from the throne room of God. Please, church, receive this word. There's a release for you. There's a release for you. And the Lord said, yes, there's a standing up. The Lord is in our midst and he says, there's a standing up. And the Lord says he's going and already he said he has gone to our foundation and he's made repairs. He says he has made repairs. And he said there's a release for people to fulfill destiny. These were the words of the Lord to us this morning. He said concerning you as a church, your history is rewritten. Your history is rewritten. Your history is rewritten. These are the words of the Lord. It's a time that we key into this instruction of wisdom from the throne room of heaven. There's a mighty release over us as a people, as a church. There's, there are foundation repairs. There are release, empowerment to fulfill destiny. For this the Lord has said in Jesus' name. I know the protocol of the church is scheduled for time. But the declaration of praise this morning is our hallelujah belongs to you. Knowing what God has said, I think we should raise this word of praise again. And say as a church, our hallelujah belongs to you. Our hallelujah belongs to you. Our hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah, my hallelujah, you know. 
Hallelujah. 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 Scripture says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want you to appropriate it to yourself. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. We give you praise. You deserve it, Lord. The breath that is inside of us. Whose it is? Whose is it? It's yours. The dust of which we are made of. Whose is it? It's yours. The grace that has been shed abroad in our hearts. Whose is it? It's yours. The glory within that has engulfed us. Whose is it? It's yours, Lord. So we come this morning, we say thank you, Father. Thank you for your glory that's resting upon us as a family. 
thank, thank you for your grace that is upon us as a church. Thank you for the honor that you have bestowed upon us through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ and through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit and through you choosing us right from even before the foundation of the world that you have called us to be holy before you. And so, Lord, we say thank you. You are thank worthy. You, you are worthy of all yes, our praises. Lord. You are worthy of all glory. You are worthy of all honor. We thank you because we have gone through the storms of life and you have made us to come through. Lord, we say thank you. Many have traveled this year. Lord, you have brought them back home. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our husbands. Thank you for our wives. Thank you for our jobs. Thank you for our lives. Thank you for our health. Thank you for the healing. You are worthy. You are glorious. You are holy. Blessed are you, God. We thank you. We thank you for the honor that you have bestowed upon us. Oh, hallelujah. Masepro Ekeria, Ika Karabayemurose, Mosapro Ekeke. You are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. Receive of the Lord. Receive your peace. You are peace. You are peace. You are joy. You are righteous. I make you righteous before me. I accept. I accept your offering. Your sacrifice has come. As a sweet smelling aroma before me, for my sake of glory, ele mo sinda na ya, i ya kuri mo sende, mo sende ya kaka, le mo sende la baba, ya mo sende mo kira ba kaka.
20, verse 23 that I referred to. Listen, please, listen. Whoever offers praise glorifies me. And it didn't end there. And he says, and to him who orders his conduct aright. In other words, in, in another version, he says, to those who obey my command, guess what is going to happen? He says, I will show the salvation of God. What is salvation? You delivered it. That is, nothing is missing. Nothing is broken. That is your life from now on. That's what the Lord has declared. Whoever of us prays glorifies me. That is, makes me to be known. And to him who orders his conduct aright, that is, those who obey my command, I will show the salvation of the Lord. In other words, I will show the power to deliver. That's what God is doing in our lives. Don't forget about the past. Your past is gone. You are a new creation. <laughs> Just tell yourself, I'm a new creation. God has recreated me. You are not who you were yesterday. You are new. And God has renewed you. You are reinvigorated. You are rejuvenated. You are the spirit of the Lord is upon me. And I declare total healing in your bodies. Who rejected you? That is man. Hebrews chapter 13 that we are reading. Verses 5 and 6. It says, let your conduct no, the, let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with that which you have. He himself, he says, I will not leave you, nor forsake you. And then I like the way it ends. So that you may boldly say, so that you may do what? Boldly say. Uh, that God is my help and I will not fear that there's nothing that man can do to me there's nothing that man can do to you all the rejections we nullify them right now in the name of Jesus every rejection over your job your promotion even as a woman as a man looking for your, 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 your wife or your husband and you feel rejected, that is swept away. You walk in the newness of life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got some celebrations to do because God has been good. God has been good. So I'm inviting Brother Deji Nehan and his wife for me and the crew, including Princess. I want them to come to the front. Let's give nice. Stay there first because I want for me with dance. You, you can't even. You don't even need to announce that. But just for the sake of Deji. Because Deji will just do like this. So, what, what song do you want, Deji? Which one? Anything we do? Okay, what do we have?
Hallelujah. One, two, five plus five. Ten. Ten years. In it. Did you hear him? No, thank you. Ten years. Are you, are Ten years of being married. <laughs> we really want to give um, thanks to God. It's been it's been a journey. Um, it looks like. Um, a few days, <laughs> but yes, it's I been will, it's been ten you. years. Let it's, me be your uh, yes. Yeah, it's been ten years, and we really bless God. Um, bless God for um, my children, Ayo Bami, Ayo Tomiwa, and Ayo Yemeka, wow. and I really bless God for my wife. Um, I, um, for all the good things that have happened to her, I really appreciate the love, the care, and. Um, all the time she spent, it's not been, it's not been 10 years of constant, constant rosiness, but here we are, we, we really give thanks. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I want to say a big thank you to everyone in church. You all have been a blessing to us. We do appreciate you. Um, I'm just going to say thank you to four people, especially. That's um, Brother Paul. He's always there for us. And then to Brother Peter Magbadilola, he's not here. He's um, her silent mentor, always there. And to my adopted uncle, you know we love you, Brother Fashola, and we always do. And to my in-laws, Sister Bawa, uh, Sister Larry and Brother Key, thank you for keeping with me all these years. <laughs> um, our testimony is all wrapped up in one song, which I like to sing. For all you have done, I sing hallelujah. Oh. For all you are doing, I scream hallelujah, oh. And for all you will do, Baba, I shout hallelujah, oh. I sing hallelujah, oh. Thank you, our God. We never knew you can honor us this way. We never knew you can honor us this way, oh, Daddy. You never can honor us this way, honor us this way. We thank you, our Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. I, I like how when she's, she loses herself in praise, she doesn't care whose eyes are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done them well. Come on, join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for DJ and for me and the children. Ten years. And DJ said, it looks like yesterday. Hmm. Thank you. Because that's the fulfillment of your word. That 10 years just looks like this. Not because they haven't gone through issues of life, but through it all, you've been with them. We thank you for the time that they look up to you and you ask them to come, just like you said to Peter. Come hither. And they have come hither. And thank you for the time that when they were sinking, your hands were always there to hold them up. Thank you for all the blessings, the children, their jobs, their health, and the love that they have for one another, and the fact that they are part of this family of yours, we give you praise. And so we set the next 10 years before you, Lord, 
Say, Lord, let your presence go with them. Amen. Peace, let it be their portion. Amen. Joy, let it not depart them. Amen. Guide them by your own counsel. Guide them by your own word. And the hope that they have in you, we know it will never come to naught. It will come to something. It will come to blessings. It will come to manifestations. Father, we say thank you. So we bless the Nehans, the G, and the children, and for me, in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Let's put our hands together for them. Give glory to the Lord, he reigns. It hasn't finished. Give glory to the Lord, he reigns. We have another couple. You thought 10 years was fantastic. Wow. Well, just double that and just add another one. And not only that, the husband is, he has crossed over to Jubilee Line. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, I'm talking about our professor. He's very, he's faithful, he's available, and he has a teachable spirit. That's what we can say about Brafemi, Bolaji, and the wife, Sister Tolu Bolaji. Let's appreciate. No, you need to dance. Ah. Give them some, give us something again. This is my day of joy, my day of joy, my day of joy. So let's start with the 50. Wow, 50 years. Are you still looking at this? Let's appreciate the Lord. He is such a delight. Have you met him before? He is a delight to behold. Ah. Thank you, my brother. You. <laughs> Testimony okay. for 50 and then 21. Um, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, my testimony will be brief. When it was Daddy Paul that asked me, what are you thankful for? 
I hadn't quite thought about it that way, but then I took a, some time to think about it and I realized it's primarily family of so many things. I am thankful for my upbringing, for my parents, my mom and dad. They, they taught us to be simple. They taught us humility. They taught us to make every effort to rely firstly on your merit before any other consideration. Then they, they live the life of sacrifice. They taught us that um, if you call somebody your friend or your family member, let them know they have a dependable ally. Mm. So, and I made my mind a long time ago, if I call somebody a friend or a family member, then to them, they can know they have a dependable ally. So I thank God. When I met my wife, I, I realized that our upbringing was the same, was similar, was very similar. And I, I'm thankful for her. There are not many women who can put their family first sacrificially. We, we joke in my house that if... Um, Let's say we lived in Nigeria and you are boggled. And they say, where's your jewelry? Where's your jewelry? <laughs> My wife said, I don't have. You know, that's the, it's her upbringing showing through her. Showing through her. Then the children as well. I remembered, I just remembered my, when I was thinking about it, my, the last place where I worked before I came to live in the country a long time ago, the chief exec said to me, he didn't say it to me, he said it to somebody, and I heard. He said, if you have only one child, and that child is Femi, he said, that's enough. And that's the way I feel about my children. The <laughs> so I'm very, very appreciative and thankful for them, and love them as well. My, my, I'm the first of five children so I had three sisters and then my brother. I'm older than my brother by 14 years. So growing up, I got to a point where I needed to be mentored by men. And I started to, I appreciated the good men God sent to, my, sent to my life. So that's why some of you, the way I relate with you, like Pastor, like um, Pastor Gaba, the way I relate with you is, is I had a need and God sent two men at the time. One, the man I call my brother, Professor Wanchuku, and another man who died about 10 years ago. But the way I relate with you is primarily because of the appreciation I have for good men to lead on. My, because I didn't have a brother for so long, I learned to relate with my friends as my brothers. So those who are close to me know that. The, the way I take there is usually there are family who say, ah, this is your friend. But it's all to do with my upbringing. Then I thank God for my family. When we are not many, we are not just, I mean, in this country, we have big family. But I really, really thank God for each and every one of you. That's my, that's my brother. <laughs> that's Tolu's brother and his wife. And this is my brother. We've been together for a long time. Brother Solomon and his family from Nigeria. I thank you, and everyone of you. I really thank you. And um, I'm really happy. I'm really pleased. We, it's 21. Well, we've been married 21 years. <laughs> and there's never been a dull moment. <laughs> My wife is very resourceful, very tenacious, very, very commi. If she decides to focus on something, then you can, you can go to sleep on it. I thank you so very much. <laughs> Just want to give God thanks. Um, he really, really deserves all the praise, all the worship, all the adoration, all the thanks. Um, yes. 21 years, it's, it's him, really. It's nothing about us. Um, so, Father, we, I give you thanks. Um, 
and to the birthday boy. Um, he turned 50 a little over a month ago. And um, I want to say thank you to everybody who was able to contribute to uh, this. And even if you weren't able, um, we understand. So Femi Bolaji would like to say, this is your life. Thank you, the apologists, you are your pillars in the church, I'm very reliable. And so I'm sure heaven is rejoicing over you as we are. If we, mortal bodies, can recognize it, how much more? God, the giver of such gifts as well. So let's just, let's stretch forth our hands to, towards the Bolaji. Sorry, my voice is going. Let's, let's bless them. They are a blessing to the church. As they ooze out the blessings of God, they are fragrance. That when you press them, the atmosphere becomes very enjoyable. That we know it's the Lord, it's the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. Father, we thank you for Brother Femi and Sister Tulu, Ori Ofe, and Emmanuel. Thank you because the, the despise of the sacrifices of our faith. They, they, are, they are poured onto the sacrifices of our faith. And so we have become stronger. We have become more knowledgeable because of that which you have blessed the family with. We have become more proactive and better at what we're doing because they offer their lives as sacrifice. Lord, we say thank you. We appreciate you. It's you in them that we see. And so we appreciate you in their lives. But them being vessels unto honor, it's even more appreciable. So we say thank you. As they have been together for 21 years, the husband said, there's never been a dull moment. Dull moment will never creep in into your family. Yeah. Joyful moment, your lives will be filled with. Yeah. And as Brafemi has celebrated 50 years, it's a time of release, as we've heard today. We walk into our jubilee, into freedom, into anything that the enemy has stolen, they restore it yeah. back. And so, Lord, we ask, let his joy never deplete in the name of Jesus. Amen. The life that he has ahead, there in your, it's in your hand. And so, Father, walk with him. Amen. Hold him by his right hand. Amen. Let him not be alone. Amen. Let him not sink. Let the enemy not have, not rejoice over him. Amen. Let him his family not be put to shame. Amen. And as he strives to be better at being your friend, Lord, reveal yourself more unto, his, unto him and his family. Lord, we say thank you. So we, these ones, they are set apart. They are sanctified. So no evil will befall you. Amen. As you go about your day-to-day -day activities, you will have joy. Amen. You will have good success. Father, we say thank you. We give you praise. And so we bless you, Brother Femi and Sister Tulu and Ori of Fe and Emmanuel in the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as many as are looking for days like this, that they will celebrate their own time, Amen. you shall be celebrated too. Your joy shall be made whole. 
you shall not deplete in your joy. Father, we say thank you. We give you praise. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
say your hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory, All the glory to you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. The pillar that holds. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. Yes, you are. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar. Oh. 
you for your tangible presence in this room. We magnify your name. Father, we thank you because there is an anointing in this room now to do the impossible. Ha! In the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every name, I speak by the authority of the word of God. I speak to every situation in this room now. Every situation that the experts have called impossible. I address you now. Because we serve a God who knows no impossibilities. We serve a God that brings water out of a rock. A God that furnishes a wilderness in the desert. A God that prepares a dinner of meat in the middle of nowhere. A God that is able to feed 5,000 with two loaves and four fishes. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we address every situation that is called impossible. We decapitate you in the name of Jesus. We call you history in the name of Jesus. We declare to you, ha, 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 by the handwriting of God, by the hand of Jehovah that cannot be resisted, by the authority that is invested in us as the church of the living God, we address you, reverse and become possible in the name of Jesus. This week, this week, Somebody is going back to the experts to get a good report. Yeah. Ah, this week. Somebody who has been written off. Somebody whose case has been closed. That case is about to be reopened for the better. Yeah. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe I have a word for you, brother Nehan and sister Nehan. I believe that the Lord would have you know that it is my grace that has brought you this far. And I say unto you this day that that grace is sufficient for you. Left to the devices of the enemy, your union would have become history. But I say unto you today that I release new grace for the journey ahead. Yeah. I release a grace for tenacity. I release a grace for patience. Yeah. I release a grace for joy. Yeah. I release a grace upon you that will cause you to stand out amongst your contemporaries yeah. as the model marriage, as the model union, as an example of what a Christian home looks like, I bless you today with the ability to stand out. And I say to you, I release new strength into your union. I release new strength into your union. An ability to stand like a city upon a hill. An ability to stand like a model that will be pointed to and people would say, see what the Lord can do. It is well with you. It is well with you. I call you blessed. Ha. I extend my blessings beyond your marriage. I extend my blessings to your children. I extend my blessings to the work of your hands. I empower you. I anoint you. I put upon you a blessing to attract wealth. Wealth. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Where others fear to go, I empower you to go. Amen. I anoint you with an anointing that attracts resources. Amen. So that when you step into the marketplace, resources will gravitate towards you from the left and from the right. 
from the north and from the south, yes. all around you, I say to you, I say to you, every vision I have put in your hearts, you will never lack all it takes to bring the visions into fruition. So do not be afraid. Do not be afraid for the future because the future is bright. Uh, I say to you, you think you have seen my goodness, but you haven't seen anything yet because the brighter days are yet ahead of you. The future I have for you is such an anointed future. It's such a future to look forward to. So rejoice. Rejoice because my hand is upon you for good. My hand is upon you to prosper you. That is what I delight to do. Prosper my children. Father, we thank you. We adore your name. We give you glory and we give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we bless your name. We magnify your name. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. There is no God like you. There is no God like you. Thank you for your sweet presence in this room right now. Thank you for what you are doing that eyes cannot see. Thank you for the things that you are doing in our hearts right now. Ah, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. We magnify your most holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old Yeah. 
receive that word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Is Sister Taiwo in the room? Is Sister Taiwo in the house this morning? Sister Taiwo in the worship team? Sister Taiwo, please come forward. the days of small beginnings. I have put a vision in your heart for a ministry that goes beyond you. A ministry that goes beyond the shores of the nation where you are resident. 
a ministry that goes to the nations of the earth. And I say to you right now, write the vision and make it plain. For it shall not tarry, though it tarry, wait for it. Because in due course, it shall speak for itself. I say to you that I have put an anointing upon you to reach the nations of the earth. Do not say in your heart, where will the resources come from? Do not say in your heart, who is going to help me? Do not say in your heart, I do not have a network. Do not say in your heart that I do not have a name in the industry. Do not say in your heart that nobody knows me. Because I have put my hand upon you. I have put my hand upon you. I have put songs in your heart that will reach the nations of the earth. Here is the picture I see. I see you where God has placed you. And it's like ripple waves of concentric circles of shock waves of anointing reaching from you to the nations of the earth. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Ha! Ah, because you are not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that you should repent. Have you said and will you not make it good? Have you spoken and will you not bring it to pass? I say to you, my daughter, that I have only just begun with you. I never make a promise without the resources to make it good. The cattle on a thousand hills, they belong to me. The silver and the gold are mine. At the snap of a finger, I can make resources gravitate towards you that you never even knew existed. So rejoice, my daughter, because that which I have spoken concerning you, I will do good to perform. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. We adore your name. Hallelujah. Let's all just lift up our hands and praise God some. Let's just, let's just, just say something nice to God. Just, just worship him. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 